Hi guys, and welcome back to Anti-Meta Dimensions. So I'm going to buy my time theorems, and I'm going to eternity we for E67 infinity po eternity points. We started that run last episode, and we're just gonna buy everything. And I let's see how many time theorems we have. We have 578. So I think the next challenge we want to do is. Eternity challenge nine times two. So this time we can afford a full build, just not this study. So we're going to get replicated galaxies and stuff because the requirement is E1000, no, E19500 infinity power. That's a lot of infinity power right there. Um, of course we can crunch again, but it's just gonna take a little bit like last time. Um we need fifty-eight this time. Well study one eighty one would be so convenient here, but we can't afford it, unfortunately. We can't afford it with Eternity Challenge nine. Um We're up to um E wait for it. E11,000. Now we're up to E13,000. Come on. We need 82 replicated galaxies. And it looks like we're getting there. Okay, I'm going to crunch. We're up to E15,000. This time we need 90 replicated galaxies. And, um, you're still getting a lot of infinity points, so. And it looks like we're up to E17,000. We need 96 replicated galaxies. Um, so we're up to over E3.5 million antimatter in our lifetime. It's crazy, it's just inflation at this point. Um, oh, 18,500? We can do it. I know we can. Um, so we need 102 replicated galaxies this time. And then we're going to crunch again. And now, now we can get the challenge. So it's... Not very hard. The goal is E2000 infinity points. But with replicated galaxies, that shouldn't be hard. Um, so, the next one. So, I sort of know the rest of the Eternity Challenges. It's um, 899, 8, 9, 10, 7, 10, 10, 10, 10. 11, 11, 12, 11, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, or something like that. I think we might want to change it up a bit, but that that's I that's the rest of the chart on the Discord. For the number of time theorems we need, I still need to check that, but I know the rest of the Eternity Challenges we need to do. Okay, that's the challenge complete, and I don't think we're ready to do... 8 times 4 yet, but I'm gonna go check. Plot twist, we are ready for Eternity Challenge 8 times 4. So I'm going to do my usual thing. Um, and the requirement is not hard. And then I'm going to respec because I don't want um study. I think it's 133. So, um... I'm going to start the challenge. I like to turn these off though. And then I'm going to get Max here. And then this time I'm going to get 9 here. 10% replicate chance like normal. And the rest in interval. So it's going to be a little while, so I'll see you when we've done the challenge. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got all my replicated galaxies so I can fill in the rest of the 
time studies and then that's the challenge done. So, um, wait, why do I only have 578 tantrums? I thought I had more than that. Anyway, I think I'm going to start a production run, so, um, uh, yeah, because the next one we need to do is nine, but we're not really ready to do that yet, so yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I always forget to turn my Infinity Dimension Elder Virus back on, but look, I can get E73 Eternity Points. I'm going to get my Time Theorems first. Luckily, I remembered to do that. I'm going to Eternity, Max these, these, and these. And then, let's just see. What have I got? 640. Let's just see what to do. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back, and it looks like I'm going to have to do another production run. So, um, yeah. I'm going to set that up. And I'll probably get E4 million antimatter this time, which is cool. Um. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back again, and I'm going to buy my time theorems. And then I'm going to Eternity, buy more. And it looks like we are ready for the next completion of Eternity Challenge 9. So, um, we still can't do it with Study 181, unfortunately. But, um, that's okay. So this time we need E21,500 Infinity Power. <sighs> it's not a, it's a really difficult requirement. Um, where we need 42 replicated galaxies. As for infinity dimensions, we're barely anywhere. 9,000. It just takes a while. Yeah, I'll see when we've got it. Okay, guys, I'm back. We've done it. And I think I came up with a new strategy. It's to set the Big Crunch autobuyer to something big like E500, and then just hold R while it's on. And I'm going to unlock the challenge. Shouldn't be hard to do. Because, um, yeah, E2250, okay. Um, it's not too bad. And we are going to do it. So, um... Looks like, yeah, it looks like this is trivial. And, um, here we go. So I've done the challenge, and now I will start another production run, so see you in a bit. Um, but just wait, because I've got to do this, and yeah, so see you in a bit. This is off, right? Yeah. Everything's working, so yeah. See you then. Okay, guys, I'm back again, and I can buy my time theorems. And then, um, I'm going to Eternity, buy more time theorems, buy my Eternity point multiplier and my time dimensions. It's just really fast. Like, every few minutes, I get five orders of magnitude of Eternity points. It's crazy. It's like insane actually so i think that um we've done a good amount so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys later bye